This evening I would like to talk to you about faith. We will be reading out of Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11 chapter, Hebrews 11. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it he been dead yet speaking by faith in it was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation had its this testimony that he pleased God but without faith it is impossible to please God please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So here is basically talking about the prophets of God, you know, not seeing the promises of God, but yet they believe that God was going to fulfill his promises. You know, a lot of times we have to see things in order to, to like, Doubting Thomas, he had to see the prints of Jesus' palms on the, the cut on his side to believe that was Jesus being resurrected from the dead. Uh, uh, we have ministries that we would like to, to, to start. And, you know, it might not seem like it's going to materialize, but by faith, you have to believe that God is going to allow you to have that ministry. Uh, like, I didn't know when I wanted to start the mission in Brazil. I, I didn't know how it was going to come about. And I didn't, number one, didn't know how the finances, where the money was going to come from. And, and God, I worked diligently to, to, to do what I can, you know, just getting sponsors and, and, you know, doing my travel arrangements and all of that. But God just you know brought everything together and you know I made a safe trip I made my contacts and um, you know I'm making plans to go go back you know to, to start we're acting on the actual actual mission so it's through faith that all that stuff came about and so I mean I'm telling you something that I know that that works you know and that script said without faith it's impossible to please God so I mean, you can't be just doing things just for the sake of doing it. You gotta have a purpose and a mission to do these things. And hopefully, it's, it's to build the kingdom of God. So, <clears throat> since we're in such a materialistic world and society, you know, trying to compete with the Joneses, uh, and, uh, you know, and trying to get the bigger and bigger house, the bigger, the biggest car, the, you know, all this big, everything got to be bigger and better, be, better attitude, you know, is, is what's hurting us when I was children, going to classrooms, when I, wearing $150 t uh, tennis shoes and, and a three or $400 uh, cell phone, but when it's time to get their lessons, they, they don't have a 10 cents tablet, uh, to write a uh, 10 cents tablet to write in or a, a, a 25 cents pen uh, that that's the harm that the, the materialism is, is, is destroying our, our uh, society so you know it started this country evolved around freedom of religion and we have a choice you know we you know this is a 
a God fearing country, and you know, yet it seems like you know we doing everything to upset God. So it's time to get back to our first love, and that's God. And once we get back to that, you know, everything else will fall into place. And uh, I just want to encourage you to, you know, as the year comes to an end, to not give up. You know, you know, God still has a purpose and a plan for you. And whatever it is, continue to seek it. You know, this is still our year, the year of the saints. And don't don't, don't let the enemy uh, put that doubt in your mind. You know, just work diligently to seek God and get his wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And these things will come to to your, uh, uh, will come into his manifestation. So that's basically it for now. Until next week, take one day and one victory at a time. God bless.